Located in southwest Virginia at the crossroads of I-81 and I-77, Wythe County has a strong agricultural tradition. The county is named after George Wythe, a lawyer in Colonial Williamsburg who was the first Virginian to sign the Declaration of Independence and became a mentor to Thomas Jefferson. He also helped design the Virginia State Seal. Agriculture has always played a prominent role in the county, and today's producers are keeping that legacy alive. If you look at uh, Virginia ag statistics, typically if it's, uh, if it's something that we can grow here so that we're climatically suited for, uh, the land is suited for, we typically rank in the top 10 of those things. So uh, Wythe County is uh, still one of the top 500 counties nationally for beef production. Uh, that's, we're going to rank in the top 10 of Virginia, typically top five. Uh, quite a bit of hay production, uh, even though you know, the state of Virginia has seen a large decline in sheep production, we're still going to be one of the largest sheep producers. Even though the number of dairy farms has decreased significantly in Virginia in recent years, Nate Akers stays busy on his dairy farm. His 200 cows are milked twice a day, and he also grows crops such as corn, alfalfa, and soybeans. Aker predicts farm consolidations will be a hallmark of farming in the future. Most farms are going to continue to, to get larger in size, but that less and less people are going to understand what's going on with agriculture in the county because uh, there's just less than 2% of the population that are, that are farmers currently. And, you know, we have people moving in from, you know, from northern Virginia, from, you know, coming from northeast United States moving in here that, you know, sometimes they don't fully understand where the food comes from and everything that's involved with it. The sights, the sounds, the smells that are involved and, you know, it puts a little pressure on, on us as neighbors to suburban areas. But farmers like Acres are up to the challenge. He's one of several young farmers in Wythe County who have been recognized by the Virginia Farm Bureau and American Farm Bureau for their success. Back several years ago, my wife and myself, we were uh, State Agriculture Achievement Award winners. Uh, we went on to be in the top 10 at the American Farm Bureau. And uh, since we've had uh, Matthew Heldreth, uh, he was a runner up this year in the Achievement Award. Um, Sarah Rudolph was the winner of the discussion meet and Jonathan Grimes was a runner up in the Excellence in Ag this year. So we've got a, we've got a good group of uh, young farmers here in the county that represent Wythe County and the state of Virginia well. Wythe County has a total of 819 farms, over 151,563 acres, with the average size of a farm at 185 acres. The market value of all agricultural products is $65,534,000. Livestock makes up the vast majority of that at $60,018,000. Cattle and calves account for $50,020,000. Milk from cows brings in $8,670,000. Crops bring in $5,517,000. 2203000 of that comes from grains. Other crops and hay bring in $2,000,000. $939,000. Brothers Jeff and Jamie Dunkley have been farming in Wythe County all their lives. They grew up on a dairy farm, but in 2007 transitioned to primarily raising beef cattle. Jeff Dunkley sees more changes coming to agriculture in the county in the years ahead. Of course, I see more and more people wanting to get into agriculture, which is a good thing, and uh, uh, it's kind of driving our land prices uh, values up, which is not a bad thing, um, but uh, hopefully they're carrying on some of that tradition and family value of agriculture and passing it down to their kids. And Jamie Dunkley says with county farmers take care of their land and livestock. Oh, we we care about the land. We're, we're we uh, you know we live off of it. We respect it. We treat it uh, as good as we can. You know, it's, it's how we make our living. So. The intersection of Interstate 77 and 81 in Wythe County is a key part of its agricultural economy. The highways provide easy access for goods and services into and out of the area. If you look at where we are, um, you know, we're, we're six hours from uh, Louisville. We're six hours to Nashville. We're six hours uh, really to uh, the D.C., uh, Baltimore, Metroplex. If you were really not that far from Philadelphia. Um, a comfortable drive to New York City and then when you go south we're six hours to Atlanta. 
Uh, so we fit that mid-Atlantic region really, really well. But the intersection of two interstate highways also creates something unusual, what transportation planners call a wrong-way concurrence. Because 77 and 81 share a stretch of the road, it's possible to be traveling north on 77 and south on 81 at the same time, as these signs show, while actually traveling west. The same stretch of road also shares southbound Route 11 and northbound Route 52. Fortunately, truckers can still find their way into and out of Wythe County easily. And the next generation of producers here is also going places. Matthew Heldreth and his wife Shelby were recently recognized during the American Farm Bureau Federation Young Farmers and Ranchers competitions held last January. The couple won third place in the Achievement Award competition. He's chairman of the Wythe County Farm Bureau Young Farmers Committee, and she serves on the County Farm Bureau Women's Committee. You know, uh, I've been feeding dairy calves since, you know, I could walk. That was my first, first tour was calves, and I think that was a responsibility for 10 years before I got upgraded to a, a tractor position. Um, that was my first, um, I guess, uh, unpaid raise. Heldreth recognizes that farming includes risk, but to him, the benefits make it all worthwhile. You know, it's great to see um, a calf that size become a mother and uh, then produce her first babies. You know, it's very rewarding um, to see that cycle continue and to also um, put a very nutritious product in the uh, American food supply. With the decline in milk consumption, dairy farmer Aaron Crogery is looking for alternative right. income options. He's added row crops such as pumpkins and sweet corn and is experimenting with industrial hemp. We've grown hemp the last two years. Uh, the first two years, the market has been very saturated. Um, so therefore there was excess of supply and the demand was very low, uh, which also drove prices lower. Um, this upcoming year, the outlook is that there's not as many people growing, so there may be more of a demand for it in the future. Um, so we'd like to maybe jump back in if we can. And that's what the farmers of Wythe County do best, adapt to changing market forces while still helping a strong local agricultural economy to thrive. In Wythe County, Virginia, I'm Burke Moeller reporting.